I wrote a similar statement in, I believe it's the second video on this playlist, and hopefully you understand now that when you take a lambda expression and you assign it to an expression, this generic expression type, the compiler kicks in and generates code that will create objects out on the heap which will represent our lambda expression. So then we can reason about that data at runtime instead of having some generated code from the C-sharp compiler. You have to admit they added a lot of features in C-sharp 3.0 and this being one of them where the compiler would either go one way or the other depending on what we assign a lambda expression to. In the Framework, however, there is another class, Expression. This is a non-generic version, and I'm just going to click on that and hit F12 so we can look uh, at it a little bit. And it's Expression, and it has a type and a node type. Hopefully that looks familiar from some of the first videos on this playlist. And there's a whole bunch of, look at all these, call, catch, convert. We, we've used all these, did we not? We Didn't we say we, when we converted our 5 here to a constant, we said... X, sorry, we said expression dot constant. All right, and we also used expression dot parameter, and we used expression dot lambda. So you may think that expression, this expression, and this expression type are the same, but they're not. All right, this is the generic version, which is special to the compiler, where the compiler will generate code for us, and then this non-generic version is the one with all those static factory functions that we saw in the previous videos. However, expression is also the base type for the various nodes that can go in an expression tree. For example, we said expression.constant, and I believe we said 5 type of int like that, and that returns a constant expression C. And if I click on constant expression in head of 12 to go look at the metadata, you see that it inherits expression. Right, and do you remember we also had parameter expression p and we did binary expression p and all of these, if I click here in F12, they inherit from the non-generic expression. Same thing here. F12 non-generic expression. But do you remember in that previous code I also said cwc dot type and then I also did c dot CW, I think I said C dot node type, and we recognize that both parameter expression, binary expression, constant expression, all of them had a type because every expression returns a value, and values have types. Then they have a node type, which we saw as that enum. If I F12 on this and then click on expression tri type and F12 on that, it's the enum, which tells us what kind of expression it is exactly. Okay, so I just wanted to point out that the generic expression type is the root type for expression trees, which the compiler builds when it sees lambda expressions. However, this non-generic expression serves as the base class for all expression types, constant expression, parameter expression, binary expression. There are others. You can look them up. And uh, this non-generic expression class also serves uh, as the wrapper or the holder for these static factory functions, which are basically a glorified way of saying new for each one of these types over here. So anyway, that's that's all I really wanted to say in this video, just to make it clear that this generic expression has its purpose, the non-generic expression has its purpose, the purposes uh, work together, but they are not the same, and we're done.